Professor Dr. H. P. Klopper came to the Johannesburg Airport on behalf of the Da Vinci Institute to welcome Professor Saborno Isaac to South Africa. Many Bangladeshis and Indians came to the Johannesburg Airport to greet with the professor. <laughs> Businessmen, mathematicians, psychologists, educators, and scientists of South Africa sit in a circle to interview Professor Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics. The interview is hosted by Professor Dr. Ben Anderson, the executive chair of the Da Vinci Institute. Today, we release part five of the conversation. And math and science is the thing that will help us advance, not the thing that you need to memorize for your test so you can get a 105 and not cry to your mom when you get home. <laughs> yes, Marla? So, I mean, I agree with you completely that schools don't teach it well. But in Africa, one of the challenges that we have is about access to technology for a lot of communities where um, they are either extremely rural, extremely poor, they have various aspects of not having technological advancements. So in that way, how do you see that we could um, sort of ignite the spirit of maths and science in underdeveloped communities that maybe don't have the accessibility or the opportunity to technology that others do? I feel like that's a very important subject. Underdeveloped communities are very common in the rural Africa or some very poor countries like I'd say maybe Burundi. And so I think that it's very important to at least try and fund them or at least try and give them some sort of financial support. Emmanuel, you're a student. Um, so what do you hear? What is your voice on this matter? I was very good at your physics and accounting and chemistry, but I was very bad at maths. So it forced me to cut all those other subjects out in order for me to focus on the math side of, of school and everything. But I was really, I understood physics, I understood chemistry, I could do the equations, I could do the work, but because I was s slow on the other stuff, I couldn't pursue that any further, you see. So I think uh, the, the younger students, they need time, they need more access to the information, because also when you're growing up, the kind of things that you portrayed on television and what you watch, and it has a lot of influence on the knowledge that you have once you're at school as well. Well, I think that it's very interesting how he, uh, his outlook on things uh, is, because uh, yes, I still feel, find it very interesting that he was able to understand the physics and chemistry from his perspective, but he wasn't able to pursue it any further. And I think that uh, his perspective on how schools teach it, they make it difficult or they automatically assume that if you're good at something else, then you're bad at math or science. I think that that is a very very true, and uh, and, his, uh, and I think that I have seen it a lot uh, all around, this kind of you know, feeling, this kind of weird you know, feeling where if you're good at something else or you are, are simply not a big brain genius, you cannot do anything sort of mathematical or scientific or anything like that. But, and that's a very the bad outlook on science because anybody is supposed to be able to do science. Science is just another kind of form of art. It's observation and imagination. But the thing is, we, we don't get observation in schools mostly because of underfunding and we don't get imagination because our teachers aren't creative. So we need more funding from our government and we need more creative and passionate teachers. And I think we have that, but we just don't allow the passionate teachers to stay, especially in the U.S. You will just suck all the passion out of the passionate teachers because of really corrupt education system. Congratulations on winning the Da Vinci Laureate Award. Thank you, Sir Isaac Newton.
a big fan. Congratulations to Vinci Laureate Soborno Isaac Barry. Thank you, Albert Einstein. A big fan. To Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.